since last week, I've been telling you that the managed care stocks just aren't getting enough credit for their incredible fundamentals, especially best of breed operators like Kramer Fab United Health Group and Centene which is a big administrator of government-sponsored health plans. Sure enough, two days ago, Centene reported what I call a NABAF quarter, meaning not as bad as fear. While the company delivered a nice top and bottom line beat, they also missed on some key line items. Well, we can go over that. The medical cost ratio, I find that a little niggling, frankly. The percent of the premiums they collect that goes to paying for health care. But because the managed care stocks have been crushed by Elizabeth Warren worries, a NABAF number was all they needed. The stock exploded higher on the news, surging 6.5% single session. Centene has now rallied nearly 15 points from its lows, at the beginning of the month, although it's still 27 points away from its highs. Clearly, the stock is picking up some momentum here. So let's check in with Michael Nidorf. He's the chairman, president, and CEO of Centene, and my favorite healthcare executive, now that he's finally recovered from the St. Louis Cardinals stinging defeat at the hands of the shocking Washington Nationals. Mr. Nidorf, welcome back to Man Money. We won't talk about the Phillies, <laughs> right? <laughs> no, well, we just got a new manager. Okay. So already looks good. Thank you so much for coming on. Okay, this quarter was really what... Uh, I think that Centene can do uh, and just get better and better when this next deal closes, right? I mean, because you've really got uh, momentum enough, and you also announced a buyback, which I think was a great reassuring sign. Well, uh, there's a couple of these. First, this was the about the ninth clean quarter we've had, and the other eight we went down for no reason in my mind, okay? volatility, whatever. This this was a, uh, a a very good quarter. The buyback, we have the optionality now that. With the proceeds from the sale of the stocks, the companies we're divesting, mm-hmm. we now have the option to retire debt or buy back stock. If we can, I'd like to buy back stock as a way to, uh, for the investors to do well in the deal. Well, here's what I'm thinking. Uh, there was a piece in the New York Times, October 18th, 2019, how pending decision on Obamacare could upend the 2020 campaign. There's a very big federal appeals court decision coming uh, very shortly, it could happen to this evening, for all I know, where uh, there'll be a lot of misunderstanding. Uh, I'm not sure. None of us knows which way it's going to come out. But there are situations which could be very advantageous for Centene that people may misjudge, might be changed to buy stock. When I, we called, it was our investor day, we called when the, the Fifth District Federal Court was going to rule the way they did. Right. Okay? Now, we think there's a chance that the appeals court could overturn it. We, we know that if they don't, it's going to the Supreme Court. And we think the Supreme Court will overturn it, not 5-4. It will be 6-3 or 7-2. So we're hoping that the federal, the appeals court, 5th District, does reverse it. If they right. do, it will just take a, an overhang out. Right, but you're, you're, I'm presuming you're saying there's, uh, 7-2 would be in favor of the affordable oh. health care, which you oh, guys yes, have done such a good job. Absolutely. And it, as it is, the exchanges are shocking people, right? They're actually doing where, where they're allowed to flourish, they're flourishing, and costs are going down. People like them. And we're retaining the individuals longer than we historically have. You know, we're down to about 1.9 million. We, we're, they're staying longer all the time. And we have 80% of the people each year renewing from the previous year. So it's a product they like. It's where people want to walk in with an insurance card. Not right. for free care. Well, don't you think that there's been a miscalculation in the big, broad presidential debate? And lately, just in the polls from CNN the other day, it looks like that the American people are waking up the idea that maybe it would cost too much and maybe the care would be subpar. Uh, on, on this single payer? Yes. Well, just look at every other country. You, you go to England, they've had single payer forever. Right. And there's a private system equal in size to the single payer. You, know, you, know, you look at all these things. We can't afford it. Every time a politician... Cause, I've said it to you before. It's too much politics, not policy. Right. You know, I tell them, why don't you go practice on the postal system? You know, you've had the postal system, the private system. You know, this, this system is working. People, people are getting know. the care they want. I have a couple of employees in Italy, and one of my employees had to have a hysterectomy. And I said, well, I'll be right over. He said, well, no, it's Class B. Yeah. I said, what's Class B? She goes, well, it's a couple of months. Mm-hmm. Do people know that that's what happens? No. The only way you contain cost in a single payer is withhold services. Right. I've had people in England, Germany, France ask us to open up medical tourism spots in the former Eastern European bloc so they can go get the, the knee replacement or what things they can't normally get. Right. I'll okay. give you one more fact. Sure. I have to confirm this. There, I believe there are about 10 times as many uh, MRIs in Canada, as you'll find at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. Think about this, what that means. If there's, four, if there's 74 in Rochester, right. some of that nature, 
There's only 740 in the whole country. I mean, it's, it's those kind of dynamics. That's crazy. Those numbers aren't perfect. That's horrible. Accurate. I know. All right, now, um, are you going through this gigantic acquisition of wealth here? I don't know how you do it. I mean, for instance, I was looking at it, where are we? Now it's Illinois and New Jersey. I mean, like every state? Do you have to make a presentation in every state? And why can these two states hold you up? Well, they're not. They're not. You know, New, New, New Jersey, they seem to be last. That's okay. They, they're going through the review right now. Okay. There were some, there were some things in Illinois. It's virtually going to be resolved any time now. It's, it's, a clean, it's a very clean acquisition. Okay. You know, there's the, we're working with justice on antitrust. Antitrust is hard to see because the states can decide how many players they want any time and what the rates are. Okay, well, one last question. Do you think that people are beginning, uh, when Elizabeth Warren really raises less corn and more hell, are, are people actually starting to get frightened about the, the dollars that it would cost? Do you think it's starting to sink in? I hope so, because the numbers I've seen, that that single-payer program, Medicare for All, will cost somewhere between 25 and $38 trillion over 10 years. The budget for 10 years is $56 trillion. Oh. Think about what that means. So it's the whole country would be. You know, it's a, it's, it's, I've said it many times. It's politics, not policy. Right. And, you know, it's very easy to have a sound bite. Medicare for all. Right. It takes a lot of paragraphs to explain how bad it is. All right. That's great because you've been a source of great wisdom. And also when everyone told, told, thought the exchanges were going to fail, you told us they were going to succeed. Now people want to be in them. And my family members included. All right. That's Michael Meidorf, Chairman, President and CEO of Centene CNC. I think the tide has crested on single payer, which makes Centene a great buy. They have money is back in the break. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.